Hello, this is Lord Og. Yes, I do. Welcome to some Walking Dead. So, in the last episode, we got Sarah killed. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> and I laughed. I laughed! And I laughed again! And I'm laughing now! <laughs> yes, dead! Um, that's about it, really. That's about the main thing that was fun. Uh, she died. Now, I hope she comes back as a zombie and I get to kill her again. Because she was that much of a pain in the ass. I just saved myself a lot of grief. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm not quite sure why we got Luke's busted, busted ass on top of that trailer first though because it couldn't even lift me out in, um, into the skylight, through the skylight. So why did we shove him through first to pull me out and pull Jane out? How did he suddenly get the strength when his, ass, when his ribs were busted? Oh well, never mind. Oh, I got Evo for killing Sarah. I should get a thousand for killing her. I, don't, I have no regrets. Not one. It was another Ben situation. I ain't doing it again. About I refuse. Sarah. What's up with it? I, uh... I didn't think you'd leave her. Oh, you jumped through the skylight quick enough. It's hard to think about. You left her too. You left her too. I know. I know. Don't turn it on me, you busted piece of crap. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. I don't care. I left she was it. never going to make it in this world. True. Absolutely. Yeah. I guess. I guess there was just nothing we could do. He needs to stop I himself. So that hard that to get to her. He's getting on my tits already. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. Good. I mean... Because I'll Clem, kill you too. I wouldn't have to. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. Yeah, that's true. For everyone. Yeah, yeah. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. No, you should have left her. I should have done something. Let's get through the skyline. All I did was leave her behind. Me too. Oh, Luke, stop being a war. You can't let get it eat away it. at you. So now he's now going to turn into a wolf pup and start going, Oh, well, I, I feel sorry for myself. I dragged my sister across four states. I'm the game killed too. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Good, good, well done, well done. Jumped to the next building over by myself. I'm you sorry. You left your sister? I'm sorry, Jane. Jane. I'm really sorry. Couldn't have been easy. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Well, true. Sarah was that way too. Yep. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. You did. Good. I think I did. I honestly, honestly think I Come did. On. I know I was laughing Let's about get back it. To your friends. But I honestly, honestly think I did the right thing for future for game. Because I know that situation. Oh, they're nice sleeves. They're probably the prettiest sleeves I've seen on a game. <laughs> I got distracted by leaves. Now, um, I think I did right for group as a whole. Son of a bitch. Yep. You found him. I did. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. Oh, yes. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? Been eaten. We left her. And Nick? Oh, he's he's been, <sighs> yeah, I killed him too. Oh, Rebecca. How about we, uh, we go for a walk? If you think about it, I'm doing pretty well, because Sarah's my fault that she died. I killed Sarita, basically. Well, chopped her arm I have off. something I need to talk to you about, too. 
Chopped her arm off, left Sarah to die. Uh, no! <laughs> chopped Nick in head with an hatchet. So I'm doing pretty well, I think, for this episode. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. Good. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. Okay. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Do I look like his best friend? Has he. I don't know. Kenny knows. Carlos teaching him He's our babies. Kenny had a family. He could help. Well, I don't know if he was there for he? birth, but. Something. Oh, Kenny. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. Oh, Kenny. I ain't seen him since. I don't think okay. he's doing well. Come on, kid. Let's get you out. <sighs> I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. Time for a bit of one-on-one -on -one with Clemmy. <sighs> Let's get her out. Let's get him out here. I can do this without getting killed. He loves me. I'm telling you, he loves me really. What's happening over here? No, go to go there. Ever. Okay. Deep breath. Let's do this. I hate this part. Yeah, it's alright. I've got it now. Oh, no, kid, come on. Pull yourself together. We need help with the baby. Come on, Kenny. We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. What, with this pretty face? Peaceful. Do I look like it? Oh, it feels oh, yeah. peaceful. Okay. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to like me. Like a balloon. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Oh, sure. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Let him talk. The punches just he keep obviously coming. needs it. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by oh, being here. Yes, you are. You help me all the time. You did it first, That's Sarah. That's not true. You help me oh. all the time. I need you. That was a weird noise. Forget that. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. Well, that's actually but, uh, true. Thanks for saying that. Well, come on then, kid. Get your ass up. Let's get out there. There's a baby needs doing. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hey, that kill stop me it. Yet, anyway. Let me have a look. It looks like it must hurt. Beauty and the Beast. Well, yeah, it's a oh, mess. Shit. You fall. Does that mean what I think it does? What? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Dance a waltz? What? I don't even know what we're talking about. We should see what's going on. Did you see that? I got Kenny out without any real screaming, shouting, anger, threats, or anything. That's it. I'm a psychiatrist now. Claim me the psychiatrist. That's that's it now. That's my new role in life. Are you okay? How does it feel? I get people killed. It feels wet. And I'm a that's psychiatrist. How it feels. What's oh, going on? Water Rebecca's broke. water broke. Mm. Oh Christ. We should yeah, that's normal. I don't too. know what we should do. Oh fuck. Oh, calm down. Well, that means the baby's coming, right? Yeah, well Kenny, thank he's God. On his way. I think the baby's <coughs> coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. It's not going to take long now. She's going to make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. No, nope. we'll find a safe place. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. No, we move. We find somewhere. That shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe Let's do one it. Of them could do the trick. Do it to it. Let's move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. The museum seems like it could be a good start. Right, go. I'll go. Good go. idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. Oh, I'll now you've got a voice, Luke. River. Okay, then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Good. Clem. What do you want? I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. It went hard. Me and Kenny, we rocked. We're together. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... 
How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? Lou, we're not talking to you! Sod off! You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. I trust her. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Yeah, and Bonnie, you came up to, to Ski Lodge okay. and lied to all of us. Clean water, I'm gonna go with Jane, effect. though. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. I'm gonna go with Jane because I can't Better stand her. Better catch up then. She's only all one right, that everyone, I like. You know what to do. And Kenny. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Kind of, kind of getting back with Kenny now. You know. I've liked my bro again. I'm gonna leave it there. But yeah, this Bonnie makes me laugh though. She goes to Ski Lodge, lies to us so Carver can come and get us. People get shot, people get killed, and then she's saying, "Can you trust Jane?" Like, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so that was fun, that. I'm glad Clem, as I said, I'm glad Sarah's dead. We sorted Kenny out pretty quick. That was nice. Uh, see, what is that? I've got, I've got separate saves. And I've got another save that I will be, that I play up to where this game is. I never take it further. So it's like I've got this one game, I've got like this game playing now. And then a second one that I play through. And I do other choices. Like on other one, I'm like when I play through it, I'll keep Sarah alive. Because my theory is that no matter if I'd have saved her or not there, she'll have died later or got somebody else killed. And that's what I'm guessing. That's what I think Telltale does. And if it is, then it's, more, then it's as predictable as I think. And that's not actually a good thing. But I'll probably talk more about that end at, at, end at like this uh, episode. Anyway, so I'm going to go and I will see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember the like button, comment and all that and say hello. And <laughs> that's all there is to it. Okay, bye for now.